And good evening and welcome to Brookville High School tonight. Girls semifinal action here, single A in District 9. It's the Elk County Catholic Crusaders and the Clarion Area Bobcats from Brookville High School this evening. It's Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops. And we're going to get started here in the Carly Tire pregame show. We're coming to you live from the Northern Pennsylvania Regional College broadcast booth here high above the court at Brookville High School. And Mike Kalinowski along with uh, Alexis 20 are here this evening as we're rocking and rolling here. Well, Alexis, big game tonight here between these two. Who's going to play on Saturday in the district uh, championship game? And uh, that'll be at uh, Clarion's Tippin Gymnasium coming up on Saturday afternoon. We saw Clarion come up with a big win over the She-Wolves up at North Clarion to put themselves in this position. Uh, Elk County Catholic goes the team. They're on a roll. Absolutely, you know. They want to come back and do what they did last year. So I think really tonight they're coming in with that mindset that that they want to be there. They know they can be there. And, you know, I think Clarion's coming in too, knowing that they just came off that win against North Clarion and knowing what they can do now and how they can work as a team. And they're ready to put that to work tonight against ECC. All right, I do have a lot coming your way in the pregame show. We do want to get a few commercials in. We do want to get a few sponsors in, and then we're going to come back. We'll have a little more for you, too. We'll get to the uh, Kale's Kitchen's keys to the game. That's all coming up. Starting lineups, too. It's all on the way. And we'll take a quick time out, pause about a minute or two. We're back with more here. It's Laurel Light Clinic Hoops of the EYT Media Network. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. My name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. All right, back here at uh, Brookville High School. Hey, we do want to thank all the folks here at Brookville, too. Rolling out the red carpet brought to you by McMillan Carpet Outlet. And uh, these folks... Uh, very, very nice. Uh, had everything ready to go for us. Perfect spot and uh, very welcoming here at Brookville as always. So we do want to thank them for that. And uh, time, you know, we're going to look at these teams. And while we look at these teams, it's always great to look at the keys to uh, what each team needs to do to come out with a win. Uh, and uh, we're going to look at that. It's brought to you by Kills Kitchens, Keys to the Game. And Lexus, she's been uh, slaving hard over uh, the, these keys for this uh, game tonight. So, Lexus, what do you think? What do these teams need to do? Yeah, you know, we'll start with ECC. Um, Elk County Catholic plays a really good defensive game. They're really good at forcing turnovers and getting in the passing lane. And, you know, tonight hitting the boards hard will really help them either either retain or maintain possession of the ball. They're also great at covering help defense and quickly retracting back to the girl they're guarding. And, Mike, it's really important that they play a smart game underneath as we know that Clarion is really strong from the foul line. I think we saw that last week against North Clarion. Um, on offense, their quick ball movement can certainly work in their favor, and that not only allows them to make the de defensive shift, but it can create an open lane to the hoop. And really, ECC should look to work the ball intentionally and not rush any unnecessary shots. All right, so there you go. Those are the kills or kitchen's keys to the game. Yet. And we're going to come back. <laughs> I have to get that in, and then we're gonna now going to take a look at Clarion. Okay. <laughs> Good. I don't have to do this in 30 seconds tonight. No, this is we're nice. taking our time. I like it because I can get the sponsor in a couple times. Right, there you go. Um, you know, Clarion played one of the best games I've seen last week against North Clarion, and if they can keep that stamina and replicate that game, they'll be set. On defense for them, it's really important that they play the quick, smart defense that we've seen recently. This will help them take away open lanes and contest outside shots. And, you know, on offense, they really need to make smart passes. As I mentioned, ECC likes to get in that passing lane and create turnovers. 
Um, it worked last game, so if they can be the first team to put points on the board, it'll really create a positive mindset throughout the game for the girls. And of course, it would be remiss of me not to mention foul shots. They shot over 80% from the foul line last week, so that could be very important for them tonight as well. I think that is important. You mentioned that with both teams. And also, too, we, you, you, we were talking before we went on the air, and you mentioned also how important it is for Clarion to get on the board early against this ECC team because this is a team, they're very, very dangerous. They like to move the ball quickly. They can score quickly. They shoot very, very well. And you can't fall behind. That's the one thing you can't do against this team. Absolutely. And Clarion has several girls, too, that can score. Um, we saw Alston come out high score of last game. But off the bench, um, Lacey Lauer came in the game and was very hot from the um, three-point line, too. So we could see that again tonight. And Klein underneath, of course, puts up a strong game as well. Yeah, Lauer said that uh, she was challenged by another Lauer who's on the boys' team. And he's like, I'll hit more than you. She goes, nah. -uh. <laughs> so they've had this battle going on. So, no, she's, she played extremely well up at North Clarion. Of course, North Clarion able to win in that Concy game. They'll get another game to see who will move on to states and single A. So right now, as far as uh, single A uh, girls, uh, we are uh, hopefully going to get these Clarion Area Bobcats in there because that would be um, our only uh, game that we might not have in single A and double A, a Keystone Shortway Conference team because the other bracket has Dubois Central Catholic, uh, uh, our Dubois Central and Ridgeway in that bracket. Uh, they're playing tonight too. Right, yeah, that would absolutely be nice to see a KSAC team in there, especially Clarion to see how hard they've fought all season and the work that they've put in and how much progress they've made. It's a team that certainly believes in themselves. I know Coach Heater and Coach uh, Constantino over there certainly have uh, instilled that in these girls, uh, two really uh, good coaches, too, and you can see how well they're coached. But, again, when you talk about good coaches, uh, Ken Pissner has been at the helm at um, Elk County Catholic for years, and uh, he always has his uh, ladies. Uh, they're always right at the top of their game, too. All right, we're getting set here. We'll have uh, team introductions coming up. We'll have the anthem and all that from uh, Brookville High School. We're going to keep it right here for right now, and uh, we're going to come out, and uh, we'll have that for you. I see they're getting set with the microphone over there, and again, I want to thank all of the great sponsors in our pregame show, Carly Tire. Uh, we didn't get to MHY Family Services for around the district because now we're in the playoffs. Of course, we'll talk more about that coming up. I know Lexus has the whole chart we're going to talk about coming up this weekend. We're going to be busy. Uh, McMillan Carpet Outlet, want to thank them. Uh, Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, Kills Kitchens. And uh, starting lineups again. Coming up will be brought to you by Bauer Wagner Properties. And we're just uh, waiting the initial announcements here at Brookville High School. I think they're just going to wait till the clock expires. And we're about ready to go. There it is. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to your basketball championships. On behalf of District 9 and Brookville High School, we welcome you to tonight's competition. Tonight's contest is a District 9 Class 1A semifinal. Your visiting team for tonight is the Clarion Lady Bobcats. Your home team on the scoreboard tonight will be the Elk County Catholic Lady Crusaders. Behavior such as booing, taunting, or intimidating an official and or an opponent is unfriendly and unacceptable. At this time, if everyone would please rise if you're able and gentlemen remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem.
Oh, there we go. Team introductions again. Starting line is brought to you by Bauer Wagner Properties. And we're getting set for the start here at uh, Brookville High School. So, Lexus, we're all ready to go. we got a whole bunch of games coming up this weekend. We get a little bit of a break tomorrow. And then it's a Friday, Saturday, so get ready. Absolutely. I'm very <laughs> excited. You're going to spend a lot of time with me over the uh, weekend. Jake's warned me. I'm just kidding. I get a break from Jake, so That's it's fantastic. True. You're going to be, yeah, you'll be pleasant. Like, he's always like, well, she's kind of mean. Well, she's around you. He's on the sports show tomorrow. That's right. I'm at the games Friday, Saturday. Sunday should be a great day. I think it should be. <laughs> All right, we're getting set here to get started. The uh, tip off is brought to you by Clarion Ford. Again, starting lineups here tonight for the Lady Bobcats of Clarion Klein, Alston, Sophie Babington, Gia Babington, and Durish for El County Catholic. It's uh, Clahoon, Straub, Alexander, Newton, and Maurer. Winner will play on Saturday at 2.45 against either Dubois Central Catholic or Ridgeway, and we are just about set to go. There's the whistle, and we're underway. Elk County will get the ball first here as a straw will work it here for the Lady Crusaders. Ball top of the key, going to be tipped away. Alston was going to get the steal. We saw a lot of work from her last week against mm -hmm. North Clarion, and she's starting out strong, ready to go on defense. Babington works it here for the Lady Cats. To the right side over to Alston. Alston, bounce pass in. It's going to be tipped and taken away. Picked up by Newton, and here come the Lady Crusaders right across the line. Straub kicks it left side, and that's into the hands of uh, Clahoon. And back up top to Straub it goes. Lady Bobcats working in that zone defense here. Ball going to be dumped inside. Step back, and we're going to get the travel call. Newton tried to take that step back, but went down. She did, and that was some great work on defense by Clarion, too, you know, taking that area away and making her, you know, go down and get that travel. Yep, and uh, they always say good defense. Well, oftentimes it'll bring those turnovers, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Ball to the right side. Gia Babington with it. Here's Babington. Comes to the free throw line. Back up top to Alston. Left side. Sophie. But that left elbow right in it goes. Durish has it blocked underneath, and it's going to be picked up underneath that time. Uh, that was uh, Maurer picking it up. Here's Straub, hands that ball off to uh, Clahoon. Clahoon in the uh, left corner, dumps it down into the paint. And back up top it goes. That's Alexander, and that three pointer is good by Alexander. That was a great look out, and of course, Sid Alexander is one of their great shooters. Great look by her. First point's coming there at about the six and a half minute mark here in this quarter. First quarter sponsor here is Clarion Forest VNA driving into the lane. Alston puts it up. That's no good. The rebound is pulled down here by uh, Maurer. Quickly ahead. Ball into the paint. Kicks it there to Maurer at the free throw line. Back to Straub. Hands it off to Clahoon. Back to the corner. Clahoon. Pounds pass to the baseline to Newton. Underneath, wide open. Nice job by Maurer that was to a great cut to the hoop. Cut to the hoop, absolutely. Good ball work that time. Five, nothing. Here's uh, Sophie Babington up top. To Gia on the right side. Gia driving into the lane, has that ball blocked away. 
Uh, but a fight for the ball. We're going to get a foul called. And we'll see. Is that going to be Clarion's ball, I think? I believe so. So, yep, foul's going to be called here on. You saw Durish a little confused. Yeah, I was waiting like, for a it wasn't second. Me. But, see, when I played, I always pretended like I had no clue what was going on. You just on. walked what? away. Yeah. All right, foul? What? <laughs> Well, up top, Sophie Babington over to uh, Alston. Alston, uh, if offensive foul is uh, Alston's going to clear out there with that arm. So 5 nothing here. Elk County Catholic leads uh, C uh, Clarion. Almost called Central Clarion. <laughs> you know, it's confusing with all these different Clarion it teams is. they have. <clears throat> so Straub with the basketball here for the Lady Crusaders working that ball. To the right side, Clune dumps that down in. Alexander, big move to the hoop, and Alexander gets two. Alexander now with five. You can see ECC really works on their offense and spreading everybody out, but getting that good cut to the hoop. Here's Klein up top. Klein very effective inside here for the Lady Cats. Durish is going to get an open look from the left elbow and nail that. First points on the board for Clarion now. Those come at about the 4.55 mark, so it took him a while to get on the board. I was talk talking to Coach Constantino last night, and he mentioned that last year ECC got up on them 14 or 16 nothing. so it's better than that. It's a good start. Straub nails that one, and that's just a two-pointer for Straub. I was waiting to see if that was a two or a three. Into the lane, Babington kicks it back out. To the right side, there's Sophie. Sophie dumps it down to Klein, but it's uh, just too long. I'm going to say, you actually took some of your time last night and talked to Dave Constantino on your free time? I spent most of it talking to Kim. All right, that's all right. The better half. Do you have a timeout down on the court? It is just a 30-second timeout. We'll hold here for this one. And, again, our new timeout sponsor is Gatesman Auto Body here on EYT. 4.22 to go, and we'll have the media timeout coming up here momentarily as well. I do want to thank the, the Matrix Group for our instant replays and also want to thank the Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Agency in New Bethlehem. New Bethlehem Moose Lodge, number 366, Clarion Rehabilitation Services, Muncie Law LLC of Clarion, Pennsylvania, and Best Wealth Management. So Best Wealth Management, part of our broadcast. Some great sponsors on that list. Mm -hmm. Especially when we get up to the one with the nursing home. I'm, I'm looking into things. Sounds like it would be very relaxing. She's wearing the sweatshirt. Ooh, well, we're going to have to talk. <laughs> as long as I don't have to cut grass in her three squares. Up. There we go. All right, here we go. It's ECC with the ball. They lead here by a score of 9-2. to two. Straub to the left side to Kloon. And up top to Straub to the right side again. Alexander kicked it back up to Straub. Back to Alexander. Alexander dumps that down into Newton. Newton's shot on the baseline. Is no good. Put back though. Is she fouled to go to the line for the three point play? That was good on Newton to be under there and get that rebound and just go right up strong. So, 9 11 2 here. Newton at the line. Free throw sponsor is Dubrook, and we're going to get the media time up. 3.58 to go here in quarter number one, 11 2 ECC. You're watching Laurel Line Clinic Hoops of the EYT Media Network. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy-duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer, and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zocro Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZocroMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zocro Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64, Interstate 80 in Clarion. All right, back here at uh, Brookville High School. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus 20, you're with you here tonight. We have Chase Diamond on the computer. Tyler Oaks over there on the camera. And at the line is Straub getting set to, uh, or not Straub, excuse me, but Newton is set to shoot a shot to, for that three-point play. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
officials. And the one thing they do on that media timeout, you get a full, it's, it turns out to be about 70 seconds long. Shots on the way by uh, Newton, no good. Fight for the ball, we're gonna get a land pro possession arrow. This time it's gonna point in the direction of Clarion. Great work by Alston, and I believe that was Alexander underneath going after that rebound. Even though Clarion coming out slowly here scoring, it's just a three possession ball game. Absolutely. Babington over to Durish. Durish double teamed. Kicks it back out to Gia Babington. Babington to the right side. Sophie, shot on the way. Eight ball, corner pocket on the right side. And it's 11 5. It was a great shot, and ECC was playing that quick defense, and she got it off just in time. Ball to the right side. Clahoon now underneath to uh, Maurer. Maurer back up top. Straub with it here. Dumps it in to Newton. Newton back out to Clahoon. And the ball uh, bumped away. Who's going to get it? Fight for the basketball. It is loose. Picked up by uh, Newton. Newton to the left side to uh, Alexander down inside the paints. Ball back up top to uh, Straub. Into the corner. That's Alexander. Shots off the mark. No good. They're going to get it over the back here. Called on Newton. That was great work by Clarion going around everywhere, getting a hand in the face of the open shot. And good position on that rebound, too. You Absolutely. Know, I was yelling last night in that uh, Cardin City game, and, and I yell in all kinds of games. I'm like, you know, you've got to box out. And when you watch people getting all those offensive rebounds, especially the offensive team, it's like you're not doing your job defensively. Absolutely. Just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter here at uh, Brookville High School. Ball's going to be stolen away by Straub. Here's Straub working in here for the Lady Crusaders. Back out it goes. Ball up top. Straub with it. Straub to uh, Pistner. And to the right side. Ball's going to be tossed out of bounds. So Clarion will get it. <clears throat> Lauer's going to check in here for... Uh, the Lady Bobcats. She's excited to come in and try to go after her brother's That's numbers. That's right. Two and a half to go here. It's 11-5. Good ball game here at uh, Brookville. First quarter action. Alston working it. Gets the pick. Comes around into the lane. Alston's going to put it up strong. And gets it to go over the front of that rim. Nice job by Alston. That was a great look and great take to the hoop. How about Clarion area now? Down just by four. Four points. Ball down to Maurer. Back to Straub. Hissner with the basketball. Back to Straub again. Here's Straub working it across the top of the key. Hissner with it. Down to the corner it goes. Dumped it in. And uh, that's Maurer getting the basket. And it's 13-7. Uh, that was a great pause on her end to let Klein, you know, kind of come over to her block and go up strong. Babington. Back out here to Alston. Alston around the defense, kicks it left side. Lauer, three-pointer on the way, and Lauer nails that from the left side. There she is on the board with three already. 13-10, it's a three-point ball game. They trailed by as many as nine. Elk with the ball now. They've got that uh, slim lead. Ball dumped in. Drive to the hoop, kick back out it goes. To the right elbow to Maurer, and the shot taken by Straub. And how about that three-pointer by Straub? Gives her five in the game now. 16-10, 56 seconds. Ball to Alston. Alston driving. Alston on the baseline. Shots off the mark. Ball's going to be tipped, but who's going to get it? Fight for the basketball. It's loose, and Bauer, or Maurer's going to pick it up. Good hustle by Clarion, just came up a little bit short. Straub works it near the center circle here at Brookville. To the right side, that 11 is a Newton. That is a Peyton Newton. Ball dumped into the paint, ball knocked away by Alston. 23 seconds, here come the Lady Cats. Trying to cut this to a one possession ball game. You can see she thought about taking it the whole way and decided nope, let's reset and start something. Ball up top to the left side, Lauer on the left side. Lauer, back to Gia Babington, but it goes out of bounds. 5.4 seconds. Go, 
So ECC one bound. The ball will have five seconds. Larry putting a little bit of pressure on. Ball comes in uh, to Alexander. And then into uh, Straub. Straub shot at the buzzer. No good. And we'll go to quarter number two at 16-10. Al County Catholic up on Clarion area. You're watching girls single A semifinal. And it is uh, Laurel Light Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Reimersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank. There is a difference. Best of luck to all our area basketball teams from your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com. All right, back here at Brookville Area High School. Good first quarter. Lady Cats were trailing by nine to one point. They came back, trailed by just a couple, but they trail here by six now. Absolutely. Both teams are playing great offensively. You know, you see points from a few different people on both mm -hmm. teams, so it's nice, too, that both teams kind of have anybody that can score right now. ECC taking the ball to bounds, and it'll be controlled here by um, Straub. Straub over to Maurer and up top to uh, Clune. Straub on the right side, Clune, Maurer, and then to the left side to Alexander. Cross-court pass on the baseline. Straub tried to pass that off. It's tipped and taken by Clarion. That was some great defense, even great ball work by ECC, but Babington just got in there and got a little hand on it. Here's Babington on the left side. Up top to Klein. I'd like to see Klein get involved inside there. She's very effective from that bottom block. Absolutely. We saw her have a strong game underneath, too, mm -hmm. against North Clarion last week. Here's Alston. Fine. Babington gets the open three-pointer. It's off the mark. No good. And the rebound is by uh, Newton. That's Tori Newton with the rebound. Here's Straub with it. Pistner's going to have him back off here, reset the offense. Out of that left side up top, Clune. Right side dumped into uh, Maurer. Maurer into uh, Newton, and we're going to get a hell ball. Jump ball, and this time that Lampro possession error goes to Clarion. We've seen some good quick defense off of Clarion tonight like we saw last week. We have a timeout on the court. 6.53 to go here. Why don't we take a real quick one? 16.10 the score. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic. Oh, nope, there isn't a timeout. Okay. They, they tricked us. They yeah, thought they there did. was a timeout. Sure did. And look at Chase over there. He was ready to go. That's Chase, man. He is always ready. That's one thing about Chase. In high school, they called him AR. Always ready. <laughs> and we're going to get an over and back. Babington. Steps on that back line. She was in that front court, and that back foot just touched that line. That's it was all like you just need. Just a centimeter on it. <laughs> and it, it was a shame because usually the official wouldn't be standing there. <laughs> he was right over top of it. Coach Heater was like, really? It's all right. Clarion's playing a good defensive game still. I have no doubt they'll get it back eventually. Here's Straub. Over to uh, Alexander. And up top it goes to Maurer. Back to Straub on the right side. Dumps it down in, and ball is going to be tipped out of bounds. It'll stay ECC ball. Crowd doesn't like it, but that's usually the case. Ball comes right into Alexander, back up top, and into the hands of Straub. Clune driving in, kicks it to the right side. That is Alexander. Back up top to Clune. Pull it back out and reset things up for them. Bauer. It was great coverage underneath. Saw Clarion cover that girl that was cutting mm -hmm. hard. She's got a lot of ball work here, a lot of movement. They're looking for some opening. Newton, left side over to Clum. And controlled by Straub. Alexander now. Boy, I'll tell you what. 
Larry, defensively, nice job. ECC, nice job with this ball movement, too. You can too. see ECC is getting a little antsy and wants to go quick and go to the hoop somehow. 16-10 is where we've been. No one has scored here in this quarter. Ball top. Straub's going to drive. Kicks it out. Long shot on the way from the left side. It's no good. Rebound's going to be picked up, and that foul's going to be called. That's a tough one there on uh, Clarion. Absolutely. You have two girls going after the ball that just yep. collide. Sometimes you'll see it called. Sometimes you won't. just depends. Yeah. Ball's going to come in here to Straub. Down to the corner to Clown. Back to Straub again. Here's Straub. Hands it to Clown. Ball to Newton. Dumps it inside. Open is Straub in the basket. Good. Those are our first points of this quarter. She was wide open underneath, too. ECC is really good at cutting to the hoop and having an open girl underneath. Larry now working, and here's Gia Babington. Over to Alston to the right side. Sophie finds Gia. Back to Alston. Alston fakes drives. Nice fake. Takes that ball up strong. Doesn't go, but she's going to go to the line to shoot a couple. That was a great play by Alston. She had the defensive person going the other way and just took it strong. So Alston up there at the line. Free throw sponsor again is Dubrook. Alston with a couple of dribbles, and here's the shot. Fails that one. That doesn't surprise me. She had a fantastic game from the foul line last game. Yeah, this team was strong. That one's off the back of the rim, tipped and tipped in, pulled down by Maurer. 4.45 to go here in the second. Second quarter sponsor is Hager Paving here on EYT. Straub right side, dumps that down in, and that shot no good this time, but a foul is going to be called, and up to the line will go Alexander to shoot two. So the official explains, and here we go. Up at that line is Alexander. And first shot, rattles the cage, uses the rim and goes. For Alexander, that is six in the ball game. That shot good. Almost identical to that first shot. Well, she got her money's worth. <laughs> Used all the iron. That's what it's there for. <laughs> Four and a half to go here in the second. Babington. Boy, double team tried to get rid of that ball, and it's into the hands of Maurer. Kicks it ahead. That is uh, Clown, and she's going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line here to shoot a couple. I believe that'll be Austin pulling in her second foul. Lucy Clown, the senior, goes to the line for a few. Again, the winner of this one will be played on Saturday against either DCC or Ridgeway. Shots off the back of the rim. That game will be at 2.45 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. We'll be there. We will be. We may be there dawn to dusk. I think so. Shots on the way. And that shot bugs good this time. Boom, gets the one. That'll be her first point in the game. So here comes Babington. Clarion now trails by 10. That was a very little quick jump there by ECC. Lady Bobcats just one point here in this quarter. And that, they're going to say it's going to stay Clarion ball. That could have been a jump ball, too, right on that side. Absolutely. You see ECC putting on this pressure defense mm -hmm. a little bit, giving Clarion a hard time. Lauer checks back in here for the Lady Cats. She can lock, aim, and fire, too. Here's uh, Alston. Alston up top to Lauer. Lauer back to Babington. Passes off to Alston. Alston looking for some seam there. Can't find it. Here's Gia Babington. Babington into the lane. Splits the defense. Shots just off the front of the rim. 
Stolen back though by Lauer, and she's fouled, and Lauer goes to the line to that shoot was two. Great work by Lauer and took it up strong. So Lauer, Lacey Lauer up there at the line, and uh, you have the media timeout. Now 3.41 to go here in the second 10 point lead for Elk County Catholic. You're watching Laurel Light Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Looking for a new Bobcat tractor? Northeastern Equipment Sales and Rentals has inventory on the lot, ready to be loaded up so you can get to work on tough jobs. Check out Bobcat of Clarion at 1214 East Main Street in Clarion. Are you ready to boost your team spirit? Look no further than shopteamwear.com, your one-stop destination for all your school and team apparel needs. We've got you covered whether you're a diehard fan searching for the latest gear or aiming to fundraise for your team. And here's the best part, you're in control. Choose the products and prices that work for you. Discover the ultimate apparel shopping and fundraising experience at shopteamware.com. It's time to gear up, fundraise with ease, and make a statement together. Boost your team spirit, empower your community. Shopteamware.com, where passion meets fashion. All right, uh, getting set. Free throws on the way. Here for uh, Clarion. Lauer will be up at the line, and we had the media timeout. <laughs> We do have a quick Zockerl Motors score update. Monotaw girls just won 51-41 over Cowdy, so they'll be playing in the AA Girls Championship versus Red Bank on Saturday. Wow, that'll be a good one. Absolutely. Flowers' first free throw is up, and that is good. I'm going to mark that on my thing here. Flower, <clears throat> next free throw. And that one good, too. Nails them two for two. Clearing coming out, pressuring on defense. Yeah, they're trying here. The ball's just going to get across that timeline. So here we go. Ball up top, Pitzner with the ball. Kicks it back up top. Uh, Clune to the right side to Straub. Straub at the top of the key. Back to uh, Pitzner. Clune dumps that off. Nice pass. Shots off the mark, though, by Newton. Fight for the ball. And we're going to have a travel here called on Newton. That was great defense by Clarion getting in there and getting underneath. So here we go. Clarion now trailing here by eight. They had cut it to a one possession game at one point. Three minutes to go here in the second. Here's Gia Babington. Babington, oh, to the right side, but it's going to go out of bounds. Deal was over there, but was cutting to the hoop, but the ball went behind her. It was a good look by both of them. They just, minds were a little bit off from each. So here we go, just under three minutes. Let's see if the lady Elk can hold on to this lead. Lady Cats, maybe they can claw back. Here we go. Ball to the right side, and that's Straub sending one. It's off the side of the rim. No good. Straub got her own rebound. Nice job with the follow. Straub's going to get it up top, Cahoon, and now to Pitzner. That's what you like to see by Straub, following your shot and getting a rebound. Straub. Stopping there in the lane, kicks it back out. Pitzner wanted to take that shot, didn't. Driving in the lane, dumped that pass off underneath there. That was uh, Peyton Newton under there, and the ball back up top. Pitzner with the ball, hands it off to Cloon. Cloon back up to Pitzner. And El County working it here at the top of the key. Straw back with the ball. You see Clary doing a good job of going under the screen instead of trying to get over them. Well, stole it away. Right into Alston's hands. And you always look on the back side, but that time Alston was there to take it away. Gia Babington. Babington's going to hand that to uh, Sophie. And now back to Alston. Alston driving. Alston shot. No good. Put back by Deal, though, is. It's a great rebound and look by Deal. Her first points of the game. Back to seven again, or uh, six again here. Six point lead for El County Catholic. 
Clarion coming back a bit. Ball to the right side. Clarion with that long shot. It's off the mark. No good. Fight for the ball underneath. Sandberg, it's going to go out of bounds to Clarion area. Mid at eight. You see Alexander checking back in for ECC. And Dersh back in for Clarion. Yep, she'll give Alston a little bit of a break. Klein back yeah, in, Klein. too. Yeah. That's a good thing about Clarion, too. And we see that on the boys' side is they have a couple on the bench, too, mm -hmm. that they can just keep getting in fresh legs and give the other girls a little breather. Well, let's see. Clarion has made a comeback a couple of times. Right now they trail by six. Here's Lauer. Lauer with the three-pointer on the way off the back of the rim. No good. And the rebound pulled down by Pitzner. Ball to the corner. Pitzner in the corner. Up top it goes to uh, Clayton. Hands it off. Uh, well, she's trying to find Straub. It was tipped back into Straub's hands. Boy, Clarion defense is playing right tough. Foul's going to be called from behind. They're going to get Durish on the foul with the push. So 31 seconds. Ball will be taken out of bounds here. It was a six-point lead for ECC at the end of one. They have that six-point lead now. They're looking to make it a bigger lead, and Clarion's looking to make it a smaller lead. Ball pops in here. Ball dumped right underneath. Alexander turnaround shot. Good. Alexander good from that bottom block. Adding to her total. Gia Babington working at 19 seconds here for the Lady Cats. Oh, knocked away. Lauer's going to pick it up. Ball to the right side. Sophie Babington, 10 seconds. Babington at the free throw line, but she's going to travel. Took that little bit of a hop. Yep. Sometimes you just don't think and you're excited. Yeah, and you're thinking, yeah. Thinking about that, what am I going to go with the ball that here? next play, that next movement. A little bit of pressure put on. Ball's going to come into uh, Alexander. Here's Straub with four. Three seconds. Pissner. Down to two, down to one, and they're not going to get a shot off. 23-15 is where we stand as Elk County Catholic leads uh, Clarion here in this girls' single-A semifinal. And we'll take a time out. We're going to come back. We will have the Heater Lumber Halftime Show on the way. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Are you a therapist who wants to make a difference? Do you want to help children and families who are struggling with serious behavioral problems? MHY Family Services is looking for therapists to join our new multi-systemic therapy psychiatric team. Multi-systemic therapy psychiatric is an evidence-based in-home intensive treatment approach that addresses the multiple factors that contribute to a child's behavioral problems. With this treatment, you could help children and families change their lives for the better. We are looking for passionate therapists to join our team. Apply now and become a part of the supportive and dynamic culture at MHY Family Services. Located at 511 Main Street in Shippenville, All-American Awards and Engraving is expanding to provide even better customer service with that personal small town feel. From embroidery to engraving to screen printing to personalized gifts, All American Awards and Engraving is ready to help you make your organization, business, school team, or event stand out with All American Awards and Engraving's quality promotional products. Visit their showroom for apparel, trophy, and awards ideas at 511 Main Street or visit their website at allamericanhq.com. series a veteran owned and operated company want to stand out amongst the crowd this is the brand for you they have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers the apparel isn't just designed for the gym it's designed for everyday life whether at work the range or at a family outing 12 series will turn heads find and like 12 series on facebook and instagram
at Penn West University, we're making college make sense again. With programs tied to in-demand jobs, we're breaking down barriers and giving you more choices. We're making college valuable again for people just like you. Learn more at pennwest.edu. The pulse of Western Pennsylvania is in very good hands. It's a system of health care whose hospitals have earned some of medicine's most prestigious honors, like the top 10% in the country for specialty cardiac care, a heart surgery program ranked in the top 2% nationwide, and cited as high performing for heart bypass, heart failure, and heart attack. The pulse of Western Pennsylvania is indeed in very good hands at Independence Health System. Expert care here. What I like about being part of an FQHC is that I grew up with two parents that were both nurses and I don't have the ability <laughs> to be a nurse. I'm not clinical, nor should I be clinical. So it's really special to me to get to work behind the scenes. Equipment's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity, it's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. Larian Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. All right, back here at Brookville High School. It is girls District 9 single ice semifinal action tonight as the Elk County Catholic Lady Crusaders lead the Clarion area Lady Bobcats by a score of 23 to 15. And uh, it's been uh, back and forth as we've gone through tonight, but an eight point lead here for the Lady Crusaders. And uh, why don't we take a look at some of the scoring. Scoring brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. They're on the stats. Do you want to try it? I can. All right. Um, we'll start with Clarion for their 15 points. You see Alston and Sophia Babington both with three in the game. Durish with two and Deal with two. And then Lauer with five. Um, we saw her come in with that three-pointer when she came right off the bench. And that's what we know her for. Um, from the foul line, they're three of four. So still shooting like we saw them last yep. week from the foul line. Um, for ECC, with their 23 points, we have... Straub with seven, Clavoon with one, Newton with two, Alexander leading with nine, and then Moore with four. And then from the foul line, they're three of five at the half. Well, that's what I had, too, so it's perfect, see, on the same page. I saw you copy down my stats. I was looking over your shoulder a couple <laughs> times because I don't pay attention all the time. It's bad. Uh, all right, we're going to take one more time out. We're going to come back. we got to get more sponsors in. And uh, lead here is eight for El County Catholic. We're at halftime at Brookville. You're watching Laurel Light Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. A division of M&B Group is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete as well as concrete supplies along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more.
All right, back here at uh, Brookville High School, and uh, we're at halftime, and it is a heater lumber halftime show. Well, Lexus, we got a lot of games coming up this weekend, and you have that whole list of where we're going to be at. Uh, why don't we let the folks know? Absolutely. So all these games on Saturday are going to be played at Tippin Gymnasium on Clarion University's campus, starting at 11 o'clock in the morning with Quad A girls, Punksy versus St. Mary's. Then we go on to 12.45 with Quad A boys, Punksy versus Bradford. Then we move on to 2.45, single A girls, which will be the winner of tonight versus the winner of the DCC Ridgeway game. Moving on to 4.30 with the single A boys is Clarion versus ECC. 6.30 with double A girls, moving on with Red Bank versus Monotone now after tonight's win. And then finally 8.30, double A boys, Red Bank versus Carn City. And then Friday we're looking at our sub-regional games with Carn City Girls and Chestnut Ridge, and then Monotaw Boys versus Chestnut Ridge. All set? Yep. All right. I got you. I even did Friday's games. Wow. Yeah, we got all that too. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be wild. So we might as well just. I think we, they already have seats with their names on them and everything up there at Tippin. So I heard they have a nice recliner for me. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> We're going to need it after uh, all of that. But we'll make her work. I know, Bob, and I, years and years ago, there was a, a, a Saturday where we did a ton of games. We did actually, I believe, seven in a day. And we ended up having to drive up to uh, Elk County to do a game up there to finish up the day. So we finished all these games <laughs> here on the road. At least we're all in Clarion for this exactly. one. Exactly. And we understand we're getting some uh, homemade check picks, too. So Absolutely. I'm excited about that. All right. Ball to the right side. And here we go. This uh Third quarter, ECC with the lead. The shot from the right side by Clauoon is no good. Put back, though, is good, though, by Newton. Gives her six. Third quarter sponsor is Ascendance Trucking Zockerel Motors. That now gives ECC a 10-point lead. Start the half. Oh, nice shot by Alston. Cut away. Finds Klein. Fine. Turnaround shot in the paint. It's off the mark. Durish with the rebound. Back up top to... Uh, Alston, and now to the right side, here's Babington. Babington shot on the way, no good. Rebound pulled down by Alexander. Saw a good screen up there by Klein, and a nice roll to the hoop, yep. too. Here's Straub. And a ball to the right side, Clown. To Maurer, and now to Alexander. Back up top, it goes to Straub. So working here, just under seven minutes to go in this third quarter. Ball's going to be dumped in. Big move to the board by Newton and Newton. Adding to her totals now with eight in the ball game. And it is now a 12-point advantage for Elk County. They're led by eight at the half. And a five-second closely guarded count. Nice job that time up top. UCC really came out and like they're not rushing anything on offense. They don't need to rush anything on offense. It's just working for them going through the motions. Yep, 4 0 run by the Lady Crusaders. Have them up by 12 here. Ball comes in to New <coughs> Excuse me, and back up to Straub. Straub looks to the right side. Volume. Dumps it inside the paint to uh Newton, and Newton's going to kick that in to Alexander underneath. Maurer has it blocked by Klein, and the foul's going to be called. They're going to get Straub with the foul in oh, Alston. was a nice swat yeah. underneath by Klein, and good work by Alston. So here comes Clarion. They trail by 12. First foul rung up there on, uh, on Straub. Yeah, it's good nobody really on either team is in foul trouble right now, so you can still play the game that you know. Babington, got to get it across that timeline, and the pass is going to go out of bounds. So, ECC will bring the ball up the court, and after that turnover, here's Straub with it. Bounce pass into the hands of Alexander. Alexander up top to Newton. Newton with the ball, top of the key underneath. Wide open is Maurer, and Maurer shots off the mark, though, and the rebound is pulled down by Babington. Saw Klein get in there really quick and get the hand in the face, too. Babington up top. Bounce pass to Alston. Alston driving. Alston puts up the shot. She's going to be fouled. Alston taking it strong to the hoop that time and picking up that foul. 
Absolutely. That's something she knows how to do, too, is if she doesn't have the open look, she's just creating the lane and getting the foul. So a couple of shots here for Alston. As the Lady Cats try to get this back down to a 10-point ball game. Hey, tell you what, they're picking up right where they left off. We've seen great feet of uh, free throw shooting in the last couple ball games with these girls. Absolutely. Uh, good, too. They're putting on a clinic. The boys should pay attention. I know some of the Clarion boys are over there. They need to pay attention. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're here. Maybe. Coach Lewis said, let's go watch their <laughs> foul shots. Ball up top to the right side. Clown uh, shot on the way. No good. But uh, there's Straub. Straub to the left side. Alexander's shot on the way. That's no good. Rebound by Maurer. Back up top. Boom to Straub, and she'll back off. UCC is really strong right now, crashing the boards and pulling down on those rebounds. Underneath, Alexander now with it. Alexander puts up that shot, partially blocked by Alston. Ten-point ball game as ECC leads by ten, but here comes Clarion. Ball left side. There's Alston. Alston to Babington. To the right side to Sophie. Finds Alston, left side, again Gia with the ball. Steps back, deep three-pointer on the way. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Oh, Durish, nice job there to get that rebound, and it's tipped out of bounds by Elk. Be a good look now for Clarion underneath to get it in and hopefully just get that easy bunny right there. Here's the inbound. And it comes into Gia. Babington across the free throw line, spins back around. Hands it to Sophie. They run that little weave up top. Alston. You see ECC's defense really pushing them up towards mm -hmm. half court. Gia, quick pass to the right side to Alston. Alston wanted to drive, but got picked up quickly. Here's Sophie. Alston down to the corner to Gia. Gia stops, but blocked that time by Alexander. That was a great block. And now Alexander with it. Here's Alexander into the paint, but Alexander, they're going to call the foul. Probably got away with an extra step there, but that's okay. The official was on that backside and saw the foul. And if you're clearing, you're happy it's not on the shot. Yep, absolutely. And we're going to have a media timeout, 3.43 to go. Here in the third, 27-17, Elk leads Clarion. You're watching the girls' single-A semifinal here in District 9. It's Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Back here at uh, Brookville, got to play that one for Chase. He's like, where's that old line of uh, music? We got it. He's up standing and jumping around. That's why we had to play it. <laughs> Easy to see with the ball after that uh, media timeout. Mauer up top here to the right side. That's Clown. Alexander hands it off, and uh, Straub will bring it back around. Three and a half to go here in the third. The winner moves on Saturday to the championship contest. DCC or Ridgeway underneath. And foul's going to be called. Newton took it up strong, and Tori Newton will go to the line to shoot two. Or in uh, Tyler's role, Dos. He prefers the Spanish version. Dos? Yeah. Do you think he can count to ten in Spanish? No. <laughs> <laughs> What'll be three fouls on Alston? 
Up at the line, Newton here shooting. First shot's on the way, and that was good. Dubrook is our free throw sponsor. Again, tonight we're broadcasting from the Northern Pennsylvania Regional College broadcast booth here uh, above the court at Brookville. Second shot good. Boy, I'll tell you what, these ladies have really put on a clinic of free throw shooting. They have. Here's uh, Babington. Kicks that ball up top. Sophie fakes. Goes back to Alston. Alston left open there for a second. Alston to the free throw line. Has it tipped away. Fight for the ball. And we're going to get a land pro possession arrow held ball. And it's going to go to Clarion this time. That was good work by both teams, you know, getting on the floor to go after that ball. Good hustle by all of them. 12-point lead again here for ECC. That ball comes into Gia Babington. Alston, right side, top of the key, fixed drives. And we're going to have a body foul. Alston's going to go to the line here to shoot a couple. Nice job by Alston. That's one thing I love to see about her. She has no issue making that contact to draw that foul at all. Here's Alston. Shot is good. I mean, you know why I even say it. It's just, you know it's going to be good. At this point, we know. Yeah. yeah. There's another one. Wow. Her four points in this half so far come from the foul line. Her line. Hey, wherever they come from, they Absolutely. all count. Absolutely. See Claren coming out, putting a little, more, a little more pressure on defense. Straub up top, 10-point lead here for ECC. Alexander wanted to take that shot, kicks it inside to uh, Newton, and now back up top. The shot by Straub is good. That's a two-pointer. Gives her a nine in the game. First points of her, first points for her of the half. <clears throat> Here's Babington to Alston. Klein. Back to Alston, driving on the baseline. Tried to pass it into the paint. It's going to be taken away here by uh, Peyton Newton. ECC's decided, let's go clean on Alston. She's, she's strong from the foul line. Ball right side, Alexander dumping that down into the paint. And the shot, basket's good. And Tori Newton goes to the line for what could be an old-time three-point play. Here we go as uh, she's at the line. Here's the free throw off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound pulled down by Deal. Newton's having a great second half so far. She is eight of her ten points so far in the second half. It's a 14-point lead, though, here for ECC now. About a minute 50 to go here in the quarter. Ball, Klein into the hands of Babington. Babington around the defense to the left side to uh, Gia. Gia Babington in the lane. Puts up the runner. It's no good. And the rebound pulled away that time by uh, Newton. And a foul's going to – oh, double dribbles called here on ECC. I think she picked up a little bit when she had that little mm -hmm. stutter step right there. So Clarion with the ball. They trail by 14, a minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. Third quarter, again, is uh, sponsored by uh, Ascendance Trucking and Zocco Motors. That was uh, – that's the new Ascendance Trucking. Ball dumped down to Deal. Deal looking for some room. Kicks it back out here. Ball's loose. Goes out of bounds. And it's going to go to ECC. Good call by the official on the far side. Laloon checking back in. And uh, Lauer coming in here. Minute 18 to go here in the third. And do want to thank Farmers Mutual Fire Insurance Company of Marble, Pennsylvania. Clareview Nursing and Rehabilitation Center in Country Springs Personal Care in Sligo, and Donna Oberlander, state representative for the 63rd Legislative District. Of course, uh, that mention paid for by friends of Donna Oberlander. Ball dumped in the paint, back up top it goes. Alexander Trey on the way, no good. Rebound pulled down by Newton, kicks it back out. Clarewton shot, rattles the cage, doesn't go. Fight for the ball, who's going to get it? And we're going to have a held ball. <laughs> 
It finishes up being a held ball between two ECC I was players. Say, maybe an ECC <laughs> held ball. <laughs> it will go to ECC though here. Oh, that land pro possession arrow. What we need to do is get a picture of Nico pointing and have it sitting over there. So it, that land pro. The with face his, of land yeah, pro. And then he can just, you just see his hand point in the direction. <laughs> you need like one of those full body cutouts where That'd you can be, just move the arm. That's what I want. Yep. Up and down. That would be great. Here we go, Clayton. Jumped that uh, ball in. Pistner back to the corner. Clayton back up to uh, Pistner. And underneath, and piston, or that is, uh, excuse me, that was Newton trying to find a seam, but how about Alexander up top getting that three-pointer? Those are her first points of the half. Clarion's done well at holding her right now, just the 12 points. Yep, and Clarion, though, in this quarter, just four points to the 13 by ECC. The ball's going to be knocked away, and a foul will be called. And it's going to go against uh, Clarion, I believe. I believe that will get that on Allison for her fourth foul. So here we go as the ECC will have it with 20 seconds. Third foul here on on uh, Alston, as uh, Lexus said. Pistner dumped that down in, took that shot, no good. Ball loose, Newton kicks it back up top. Clune, eight seconds. Clune with the ball. Back to Alexander, two seconds. Ball's tipped, and the shot at the buzzer, it's just off the mark. So 36-19 is where we stand after three quarters of play, and we'll take a timeout. ECC with the lead. It is Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer-than-expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our Retirement Income Evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Back here at uh, Brookville, go to quarter number four. The fourth quarter sponsor is Clarion County Community Bank here on EYT. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus 20 here. we got Chase Diamond, Tyler Oaks all here. I've learned something tonight, Mike. Yeah. Chase is bossy. He bosses you around. Oh, I know. Well, he's behind that computer. He thinks he's in charge. He can shut it off at any oh, time. That's why. That's right. Technically, he is. <laughs> you know, we just talked. These guys are the ones that put the show on, and I'll tell you what, they do a heck of a job. Here's Alston driving into the lane. Alston's going to kick it out. Lauer, three-pointer on the way by Lauer. And how about her nail in that one? That was a great look by Lauer to start the fourth. Eight points in the game for Lauer. And the lead is back to 14. Ball left side. Underneath, there's Straub. Spins back around. We're going to have a foul called. I think they're going to get Lauer on this one. She's smiling. A little too quick, a little too close. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the winner of this one will play on Saturday at uh, 2.45 against Dubois Central or Ridgeway. We'll be there. We will be. Alexander up top goes back over to Straub. Ball to Alexander. Dumps it into the paint. The ball's tipped and picked up there by Alston. Alston will give it to Babigan, and here come the Lady Bobcats. Here's Gia Babington. Stops, kicks it up top to Alston. Sophie to Gia. Working it up top here. Here's Alston to the corner. Where they know to stay on Lauer now. They do. There's some great ball movement too we're seeing on mm -hmm. Clarion's end. 
Ogia around the defense, kicks it out. There's Lauer, wide open shot on the way. Good there hit by is. Lauer. And I don't, it's, I don't uh, know if that was a play or not they set up, but it worked. It was nice. 11 point lead now for ECC. It was the play they needed. In the paint, the ball up top to Alexander. Shot in the paint, no good. Rebound pulled down by Newton. Newton's going to step back and back up top. It goes to uh, Kaloon and now controlled by Straub. Straub, Alexander. Newton. Back to Alexander. Dumps it down into uh, Maurer. Alexander. Straub. Right side into the corner. That's Newton out there. Newton driving into the lane. Dumps it off Alexander with a shot basket good. It's a nice easy shot underneath for Alexander to get there. <clears throat> Lead back to 13 here for ECC. Alston. To the left side over there to uh, Lauer. Well, you see uh, that Newton staying right on Lauer now. Absolutely. <laughs> and drive by Babington. Nice job. Saw that lane open up. And Sophie gets her fifth. Here's uh, Straub. See Gia Babington up top kind of challenging her, trying to get her to make a move. Mauer, right side. Straub's going to eye the three. It's on the way, and Straub's going to drain it. Second three of the ball game. Gives her 12 in the game now. Timeout. Nope, ball out of bounds. The way the official pointed was like that signal for that timeout. It was kind of. They're tricking yeah, us. It is. Well, now there is a time. I was going to say. <laughs> Full time on, 41-27 will break. 4.38 to go here in the fourth. You're watching Laurel Athletic Hoops on EYT. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Want to cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy cost while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. Call Lutens Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer. I chose MPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. Right back here to action we go. Lady Cats take the ball out of bounds. And here we go. It's Lauer with it on the inbound. Lauer to the right side. Gets double team. Kicks it back up top. Mabington with it. Four and a half to go here in the ball game. 14 point lead for ECC. Lauer. ECC is coming out quick and fast right now on defense. They sure have. All right side. Gia fakes, drives. Kicks it over to Lauer. Boy. They were on her. They were not <laughs> letting her get that three point off. Alston driving. Alston going to be fouled. Alston does that so well. Picks up the foul. She'll go to the line. Just one field goal for her. All of the rest of her points have been at the free throw line. Every team needs an Alston. Driving to the hoop and getting yep. those free throws and making them. We're shot good. Drew Brook is our free throw sponsor again. And Alston continues her almost perfection from the line. And that shot good, too. Just one miss tonight from we that line. We have another Zockel Motor score update. DCC leads Ridgeway 11 to 8 at the end of the first. Okay. So DCC, in, they lead there. Ball up top. Here's uh, Straub to Alexander to the right side. Newton. Sit over. Maurer in the paint. 
Back out to Straub, and Straub's going to get that back. Babington almost got the steal. Good work by G on defense. Well, down to the corner, dumped down into the paint. Uh, Boom. Got it back up top to Straub, and now Alexander controls. Straub with it here, 325. Straub puts up the runner in the paint, no good. Comes back out, Straub shot on the way. This time, good. I think that's the second or third time we've seen her get her own rebound and put yep. it right back up. And it's a good follow, too. That's how you do it when you're shooting. Ball's loose. Picked up by Babington. Now here's uh, Sophie. Ball in the paint, but a travel is going to be called here on Sophie Babington. Good try by her. And we're going to have immediate timeout. 3.03 to go here in the ball game. 43-29. Elk leads Clarion, and you are watching Laurel Light Clinic. Uh, hoops, they're all here on the EYT Media Network. What college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? We are bringing college to rural Pennsylvania. We're helping people that didn't have a college option before. And the way we do that is through dedicated faculty and student services team and through technology so that people that didn't have that option before now have that option. All right, back here to action at uh, Brookville High School, 4329. ACC to bring in the ball. Clarion's putting that pressure defense on. Yep, 14 point lead here for the Lady Crusaders. Ball to the right side. Newton back to uh, Clune. Straub, Clune. And controlled there by Pistner. In the paint, Alexander shot good. It's great ball movement and work by ECC, we saw. 16 point lead now for the Lady Crusaders. Marion's going to have to start stringing together some points here and getting some opportunities. Ball into Babington, but it's going to be taken away that time by Newton. It was a good look by Clarion. Just ECC knew where it was going. Boone hands it to Pistner. Back to the right side. Newton, Alexander, and Pistner controls it up top. Two minutes to go here in the ball game. This fourth quarter brought to you by Clarion County Community Bank. Alexander dumping it underneath. There's Newton put up. It's good by Newton, and we're going to get a timeout. 30-second timeout here. want to thank our other sponsors. I want to thank friends of Donna Oberlander, state rep for the 63rd District, Clearview Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, and Country Springs Personal Care of Sligo, Farmers Mutual Fire Insurance Company of Marble, Best Wealth Management, Muncie Law LLC of Clarion, Clarion Rehabilitation Services, New Bethlehem Moose Lodge, number 366, and, of course, the Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Agency in New Bethlehem. Great sponsors here on EYT. Absolutely. Fantastic sponsors. Yes, they are, and we're rolling here tonight, of course, uh, off tomorrow night. And then Friday night, we got two coming your way, uh, Carn City Girls and Monotop Boys. We are off tomorrow night. We are. But there is a sports show tomorrow night. Oh, that is right. We have the... Uh, the Red Bank Red Chevrolet Main Street Show. Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show. I believe this week's guest is Andy Traster, Keystone okay. Girls basketball coach. Cool. Yeah. So we'll have that for you tomorrow night. You can tune into that at 7 o'clock on EYT. Great show. Owen will be there. But it's good we still get the night off. Oh, yes. We need it. <laughs> uh, Tyler... Oh, yeah. Tyler Oaks is going to be producing. Oh, boy. I thought you said Bob will be there. I got excited. <laughs> you never know. Bob top to Gia Babington. Right side to Lauer. Lauer fires the three-pointer on the way. It's off the mark. No good. And Elk will get the ball as it careens out of bounds. Minute 27. See a bunch of changes here coming in for Elk County Catholic. We'll keep you updated here. See Pissner rolling in. Yep. Gecky. 
Who else do we have? 44 is uh, Brendel. So a couple new names. Ball comes in, controlled there by uh, Maurer. And uh, working it will be uh, Gina Gecki. And now into the hands of Pistner. Here's Pistner across the timeline. Pistner driving right to the hoop shot, no good. Rebound put back and is good. And Gracie Brindle will go to the free throw line for the old time three point play. Her first points of the game and what a better deal to get on the foul line too. Shot by her is good. So 50-29, the score here, Elk. Looks like they'll be appearing coming up on Saturday. Here's uh, Alston trying to dump it in. It's going to be taken away by uh, Gecki. Ball See, handed off. ECC really pulling away in the third and fourth quarters. You know, Clarion put up a great first half, and still they're not giving up. The ball back to Newton, Peyton Newton. Lost the ball. It's going to be picked up before it went out of bounds over there by Maurer. Pistner to Newton. Back to Pistner. 34 seconds. Gecki with the basketball. And they're going to work it here up top. 27 seconds. Really no need for scoring. Pistner. We're going to have a foul call. They're going to get Alston here, but uh, no shots are going to be uh, here. Just not enough fouls yet. We're some, that's something we see ECC do all game, too, is move the ball around. They're great with that. So 23 seconds. Ball comes in. Becky with the basketball. Bounce pass underneath the Maurer. Maurer's just going to hold. Ball taken away in the paint by Alston. 14 seconds. Here's Babington. Give them a Left chance side. to get one last shot off. Here's Gia up top to Alston. Six seconds, five seconds. Alston puts up the shot, partially blocked. Ball loose, and there's your ball game. 50-29 as ECC will knock off Clarion to move on to the district championship coming up on Saturday. We'll take a quick timeout. we got to total things up, and we'll head to the postgame show. You're watching Laurel Line Clinic Hoops on EYT. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zocro Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZocroMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zocro Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion.
right, back here. We're on that side. We're good? All right, we got everything back here. We have our audio back. We were just there. It happens. It's technology. And we're in the uh, Fun Bank uh, postgame show, the First United National Bank. Hey, thanks for uh, hanging in there, folks, while we got all that taken care of. We do want to get the scoring to you, brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. Lexus, how does it stack up here in the ball game? Um, for Clarion, we're looking at nine from Alston, five from Sophia Babington, two from Dersh, and two from Deal as well. And then leading Clarion was your freshman, Lacey Lauer, with 11 points. Um, Clarion did great from the foul line. They were eight of nine, shooting 89% from the foul line, and that's something that they're known for, something they're good at. Um, for ECC, we see Straub with 14, Glavoon with one, Newton with 12, Alexander with 16, and Mara with four, and then we saw Brendel coming at the end with three. Um, six of nine from the foul line, 67%. Still not bad. Nope, not bad at all. So there you go, scoring. Again, brought to you by Zockerl Motors. And uh, time now for our uh, uh, Hager Paving uh, player of the ball game. And when we look through there, of course, uh, El County Catholic. Strong game here. Boy, a couple girls it could be. Who do you like better? I'm not saying I like anybody <laughs> better or worse. Well, I mean. <laughs> we saw a strong game from all of the players yes. at ECC. Um, you know, leading scorer, Sid Alexander with 16, and then Straub was right behind her with 14. For me, it's a toss-up between the two because we saw a great offensive game from Straub handling the ball up and down the court. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Alexander, too, was one of the reasons that they got uh, 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 that where that lead jump. She nailed that three-pointer and a couple quick shots, so maybe kind of lean toward Alexander Works for this for one. All right, so Alexander's going to be our uh, player of the ball game. That's Sydney Alexander, the senior for El County Catholic. And uh, so that will get us there. And and then we'll see Clarion playing um, the person who does not have the winning outcome of the DCC Ridgeway game here on Friday. And I believe they said tip-off is at 7 p.m., yep. so that will be back at Brookville for them. And, again, kudos to the District 9 folks here. You know, years, you know, and I know they tried to, to keep things as updated, but you know as soon as that game's over where you're playing next, what's going on, who you're waiting on, whatever. They've done that the last couple games, and that, that's a tip of the cap. That's a great job. Absolutely. It's great for the girls, great for the coaches and fans, of course, and great for us. That's right. We know who's where and right away. It's real easy. And we know tomorrow uh, we do have the Main Street uh, Sports Show brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. That'll be tomorrow night uh, here on EYT. Lexus and I are off tomorrow. We're back on Friday, though. We've got two coming your way on Friday night up at uh, Tippin Gymnasium. We've got uh, the uh, Carn City Girls and Montauk Boys in action 6 and 7.30. We'll have that, so I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely, and both against Chestnut Ridge. That's so right. We'll see their big group come up, hopefully, and make it a good atmosphere. Should be fun. That should do it for us here. Again, uh, the final score, it is 50-29. El County knocks off uh, Clarion area. They'll move to the district final coming up on Saturday. For my partner, Alexis Twentier, and Chase Diamond over there on the computer. Tyler Oaks behind the camera. All the guys doing a fantastic job tonight. This is Mike Kalinowski bidding you a pleasant good night here from Brookville. You've been watching Laurel Line Clinic Hoops right here on EYT. We'll see you again tomorrow night for the show, Friday night for Hoops.